In this video, we'll be setting up the first table for our database for the Creative Corner Craft Shop using Microsoft Access. We've already been given a table called Products, which will store details about the various craft supplies sold at the shop, but we need to adjust this with the correct data types. First, we're going to check the fields in our products table using the Design View by clicking the View dropdown and selecting Design. Each field will have specific properties tailored to the type of data it will hold. We'll start with the product ID field. This is the primary key of the table set to an auto number data type. Auto number is used because it automatically generates a unique number for each product, ensuring each record is distinct and easily identifiable. Next, we check product name. This field uses the short text data type, which is perfect for product names. It allows up to 255 characters, which is more than enough for any product name we might have. Moving on to description, this field will be changed to long text, accommodating longer product descriptions, which is better for paragraphs or text longer than 255 characters. Long text is ideal for providing detailed descriptions that can be used to give customers more information on the shop's products. The price field needs to be updated to the currency data type. We also need to format this field to show values in pounds sterling with two decimal places. This formatting helps maintain consistent financial records and makes it easier for us to read on screen as monetary values. For stock quantity and reorder level, both fields are going to be stored as numbers with a short integer format. Short integer is sufficient here as the range of stock quantities and reorder levels we expect to use in the shop will never exceed the maximum value of 32,000. That's a lot of stock. These fields are going to be used for inventory management, helping ensure we have adequate stock and know when to reorder. Something we'll look at later. With all fields set up with the correct data types and formats, our products table is now ready, and you're now ready to try this yourself in the exercise files. Now, in the next section, we'll be looking at setting up a table from scratch to create our table of staff.